Guys, Renata, Intuitive Growth Coach. Let me ask you something. Do you ever question or know why is it so hard to change? It seems to be like a really simple question. I mean, we want to become better, so we change actions, we change behavior, and we become a better person, right? Or we have a goal, and we need to change probably some actions, take different steps, and we get to the goal. But oftentimes, we're just stuck, and we cannot move forward. Why? Well, most common reason is because we're kind of programmed and set up in the way that our mind protects us from anything bad happening or whatever terms they oper that operate on, right? So if you're going to pursue your dreams and you're going to take some actions that are not comfortable or that you're not familiar with, uh, your mind automatically kind of sends you a message that it's not safe for you because it's not familiar, it's not comfortable, it might be even painful or, I mean, just safety warning, okay? Now, if you're going to stay in the comfort zone, okay, what's familiar, let's say your old life making that, I don't know, whatever money you are making or staying with that, in that relationship you are, it's also kind of sending you a signal that, uh, that it's not good enough for you. Uh, it's kind of a loss of your dream, what you imagine your life will look like or how much, however money may you're going to be wanting to make, right? So either way, it's a loss. And the only reason that exists is because of the perception, how you view things, right? So if you... Um, programmed in a way that every time you do something new, it's dangerous or it's out of the safety, your brain is going to be warning. So you got to reprogram that. You're going to just ch shift how you, what the things mean to you and how, how you see things. Make sense? So make sure you do that on the subconscious level because repetition, like consciously repeating things or affirmations or similar things, they're good, but they're not as effective as going directly into the subconscious mind and changing that belief, changing that perception. So make sure you do that change at the subconscious level. Change how you view things so your mind doesn't send you those warning signals all the time and that puts you back in the back seat and makes you not do things or stay in the comfort or even in the painful situ situation. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.